Hi, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, everyone. Thank you again so much for joining us today. We're so excited to have you here today. Uh, we are gonna be getting started on our um, presentation between minute and up listing to tell you more about our new integration. We're just gonna give it another minute or so to let people continue to log on. Uh, so just hold tight and we'll get started in just a second. Okay, great. Thank you everyone for for waiting patiently. I think everyone is here now. Um, so Vince, I'll go ahead and let you um, start just by telling people a little bit about uplisting um, and, you know, just do a br brief recap for anyone who is not familiar with uplisting yet. And then we'll dive into uh, a little bit more information about Minute. And uh, Vince, I've got it on here already. Oh, you can. <laughs> That's okay. Hi, everybody. Sounds good. Uh, I'll just share a quick presentation here. And that's going to work for me. Is that working? Can you see? Okay, sorry, I can't see that. Okay, um, sorry, new, new, um, new software for me. Apologies. Anyway, I'm not going to spend I'm not going to spend too much long talking uh, too much talking about uplisting because we're here to hear about minute um, and. Just say I, I rely on Minute in one of my properties, or one of my family properties. Um, so I'm delighted to be able to share uh, what Minute offers to um, our audience. Um, so yeah, as I mentioned, I'm not going to spend too much uh, too much time on uh, uplisting because we're here to hear uh, to you know understand what Minute do. Um, but just to give you a brief introduction to anybody who's not familiar with uplisting. Um, so I can't see your slides, but if you're on the second slide, Delandra. Um, for those that don't uh, know Uplisting, we are a property and channel manager focused on growing short-term rental businesses. Um, the way that we see it is that we are basically here to help you grow your business. Um, we are an Airbnb preferred software partner. We've actually just been confirmed as a, well, not, not, publicly, not publicly announced yet, but we are an Airbnb preferred plus software partner, which is a level above regular preferred software partner, which is, um, you know, great news for us and for our for our member because it's um, a lot of it's just based on reliability, and um, which is the most important thing to help you grow your you know to allow you to scale your business. Uh, we also partner with Booking.com, 
VRBO, Thank you so much, Robo, Vince. It's always a pleasure to have, um, you know, especially a co-founder with us of a system like this. So it's and really interesting our integration to see with Minute um, you know, how, is, you know, how much demand we've also gotten up. from, um, from our own clients and um, have asked us for integration with Uplisting and vice versa. So it's a great partnership. Um, We're super excited. Um, and um, yeah, that thank you again for, uh, for joining us. So let's go ahead and get started then. Automatically get synced into Minute. So really straightforward in terms of getting the two systems to talk to each other. Can you see my screen? Uh, the third slide, um, just to show that we have so. members yes. globally. Okay, great. Um, uh, uh, so as mentioned, which, um, uh, I work for Minute. I am a lot of people see. know, the partnership um, manager. And we have members for And Vince, uh, uh, who you heard earlier, plus, is you know, more, uh, the founder of Uplisting. And so we're going to go over final today. final slide and um, word from me you know, we is, did a quick introduction uh, uplisting to is uplisting. To we're going to now dive into with, uh, mark's um, explanation on uh, minute and uplisting's um, new integration and then we'll leave some time for q a uh, uh, now you'll notice um, here on the right free hand side you've got a slot for questions for, and answers um, and if you want to have any questions answered or have any comments feel free to add them there and we'll be doing a poll a little bit later so there's also a section here that will come up for a really nice way of you this See how Uplisting works with um, your own properties. Speaking of, also uh, here have, we go. Uh, onboarding so the um, here, uh, um, webinars and demos that you can do one on one depending on your needs. From um, and you can also talk to our sales team if you, if okay. you prefer to ask some questions before committing to a trial. Um, but that's all from me. Quick introduction to Uplisting and Let's over to you, Lana, to uh, explain in a minute. Thank you. I think we are still getting a couple of answers. We'll give it just a second. I know um, we talk in the industry and people always ask us like, how common is this to actually have parties come up, um, you know, or, or uh, damage come up in, in terms of um, the, the damages that are caused by parties. And we can say, you know, it doesn't happen often, but when it does happen, it leaves you with unfortunately a bit of damage and very, very unhappy neighbors. So certainly it's always good to avoid them. Uh, and yeah, according to our poll, you know, a few people have even said yes, uh, they have experienced it uh, and they have experienced both damage and um, noise issues. So what is Minute? Uh, for those of you that don't know us, uh, Minute is a smart sensor that monitors noise, occupancy, motion, temperature in rental properties, helping um, hosts and uh, property managers prevent parties, enhance the guest experience, and protect their homes without sacrificing guest privacy. So we like to say that we're the co-host that cares for your home, guests, and community. Now, I mentioned quite a few different features. Um, we're not going to go into too much depth, but I did just want to mention, you know, there's there's quite a few things that come in uh, with this sensor. So it's quite handy because not only do you get the noise monitoring uh, feature, which is probably the one that we're best known for, um, but you also have a uh, feature called occupancy monitoring, which actually uses Bluetooth to understand how many uh, devices are connected in the home. It's very important to us that um, you understand, you know, there's no cameras, there's nothing being recorded. So what, what we're measuring in this case would be decibels of noise and uh, number of devices connected via Bluetooth. And for us, occupancy monitoring is kind of that first step in knowing when a crowd is gathering. Um, because let's say, for example, you've got, you know, a one bedroom uh, house and suddenly uh, we notice that there's 40 devices that have been connected to that one home, it's pretty unlikely that, you know, those two people that you have set as the threshold for that particular pro property have 40 devices between them. So that's going to be that first uh, notification that you can receive. Then the things that would follow would be, you know, um, noise, uh, an increase in humidity because people are talking. Um, things like that are all an indication that something is happening and something that you should you know uh, check out, check in on now regarding the guest experience um, we also allow you to set up contactless check-ins um, you can specifically keep an eye on temperature and humidity to ensure that your guests have a good stay uh, i and i know that there's nothing worse than you know going into a property when it's 105 degrees outside and the temperature inside is just as uncomfortable because you know, perhaps the, the hosts are trying to save some money on air conditioning. Um, so these things are all quite helpful to ensure that, um, you know, temperature, for example, that you're using the heating or um, the cooling systems um, in, in a good way, in a smart way to make sure that the, the home is comfortable for your guests, but that you're not uh, spending too much and wasting too much energy. 
And then home security, we have a great uh, motion detection uh, feature in the sensor as well. So using infrared, uh, again, not cameras, but infrared, you can keep track of when uh, people are in the property. So that's going to be quite helpful because it's going to help you understand when, you know, your cleaning crew is done um, or perhaps, you know, even give you a little bit of peace of mind of knowing, okay, these guests have checked out, for example. So we've done quite a few different uh, pilots and case studies and found that on average, uh, through the minute sensor, we solve about 94% of noise issues within 15 minutes or less. And um, thanks to our partners and different data sets, we can tell you that the average cost of damage done by parties in vacation rentals is over $1,200. Uh, so certainly, you know, we've all read stories of how things just quickly get out of hand, often in homes that don't have noise monitoring devices. Um, because unfortunately, you know, um, it's, it's, it can happen so quickly. So we often say that the quicker you get involved um, and that you make sure that your guests understand that, that they're not allowed to um, have people over or have a party, um, the better, because the last thing you want is a neighbor to call and complain. It's always best if you're the first one to find out, and especially if you have a tool to, to do it. So certainly a minute uh, sensor is going to be that tool that's gonna help you stay on track on top of what's happening in, in each of your properties. Now, this is just a screenshot of um, a couple of different things. So for example, um, you can quickly act and, and prevent a party from escalating because you're gonna get a notification if it's been loud in the property for more than 10 minutes, for example. Um, and then as mentioned, another feature that you can uh, use to help you cut on energy costs is the temperature feature. So you can set temperature thresholds on the property and you can ensure that you will know if the temperature is above or below what those thresholds are. And that way you know um, if you need to some, someone out to turn off the air conditioning or the heating um, and you can take action then. And then as mentioned, that motion detection feature is quite helpful because it's gonna uh, keep track and help you keep track of when uh, staff come and go and when guests check in and check out. We do have global distribution. So we have five uh, distribution centers around the world. And I believe once we, I think I checked once, I believe we work in over 150 countries. Um, if, if I'm correct, uh, I'll, do, I'll double check that stat, but we work in quite a few different countries around the world. Now, privacy. Um, privacy is incredibly important to us. We always want to make sure that people feel comfortable with their minute sensor um, and understand, you know, what exactly it is and um, how to communicate that to their guests. So it is 100% privacy, privacy safe. Um, it's a smart home sensor that's camera free, measures noise levels. It doesn't record anything. It doesn't listen. Um, it doesn't collect, store or share personal data. So, you know, if your guests ask, we do have also um, in our frequently asked questions, we have actually some, some uh, verbiage that you can send to them if they do ask questions. Um, and also there's no raw data transferred. Now let's go ahead and take a look into the minute and uplisting integration. Um, one of the things that, you know, we like to say is, you know, as your business starts to grow, you want to automate as much as possible. And certainly uh, these integrations make that much easier because it's going to automatically sync the booking information. So our integration is gonna save you time um, by pulling in the reservation data and guest information from your booking calendar. So that way you won't ever have to do it manually and you cut back on the risk of errors. Also um, automate guest communication. So you're going to be able to send your guests a text message or even an automatic phone call when the noise level gets too high. And these two um, action items are incredibly important to get right and get automated um, so that there is no chance of, of an escalation um, of a noise event. So this is a snapshot into um, you know, what a typical text message would be. Uh, this is our noise re resolution. So it would essentially just say, hi there, you know, this is like a generic message. Uh, we hope you're enjoying your stay. We've detected noise levels that are higher than allowed in this home. If you could just please keep the noise down, we'd appreciate it. 
Um, now, the nice thing about this is that you can customize this. There's some people that, um, you know, make it a little bit more polite or less. It's up to you. And a lot of people ask, you know, how do you know what is a noise issue? So this is an example of, um, you know, what would cause a notification. And this is also another example of, of how you can actually customize the different action items, uh, the, the dish, sorry, uh, the different action steps taken. So in this case, um, you can set a threshold for a set duration and that first notification be, would be uh, twofold. The first thing that it would do would be to notify your team. And then that second action item would be to send an SMS or a text message to your guests. Um, this here, for example, is just like a quick noise event, say a door slamming or, you know, um, something falling, but it's going to be very brief, nothing to really cause alarm. Then this particular noise event is something that is an indication that something is happening. So perhaps a, a, a crowd is gathering in the home and it's definitely reason for concern. Not only would you um, want to notify your team and send a text message to your guest, but you can also set up an auto call to your guest for that uh, duration of more than 10 minutes. And then what about if this keeps happening, um, you know, more than 20 minutes, for example, not only can you notify your team, send a text message to your guest, do an auto call, but we have a great feature called flash and sound, which makes it pretty much impossible to ignore that, um, you know, this device is trying to get your attention and it's going to be flashing and it's going to be uh, making a loud noise to get your guest's attention. And so that they know, hey, you know, um, this is not okay. Uh, so it's up to you how you, you set th those thresholds for each individual home. So let's talk about the setup. Uh, here in uplisting, uh, sorry, in the, in the minute dashboard, you would just go to the minute dashboard and actually connect via the uplisting um, API key. So it's a pretty simple setup. In fact, we have great help articles also to help you uh, through that setup process. And then this is where you configure the listings. So it's important that you configure the listings on your minute dashboard as you have them on your uplisting dashboard. That way we understand and we will know, um, you know, when we get a notification where that noise issue is happening. Um, and then we're gonna be able to connect the data according to each home correctly. So we're gonna know who to send that text message out to, who to do that auto call to, should that um, noise event occur in each home. And then we're going to look at the threshold. So this is where you can set up the individual, um, the individual messages for your guests. So if you look here, um, you know, this is kind of just the base template that we have on here. So it's just saying, hi, we hope you're having, you know, you're enjoying the stay, your stay, but this is where you can also edit that message and, um, you know, put in any information that you think is important or just make it more sound more like you more in brand with, with what it is that you want your brand to, uh, sound like. Now, here is also that um, configuration for that automatic call. So you can you can also customize that call to include that message that's going to to be um, read out loud during that call to your guest. And then this is what I think is really great. Um, every property is completely different. So uh, I live in a very busy city center area where um, I know I'm personally always telling my, my husband and my son to be quiet after 10 p.m., for example. But if you are in a more rural property, um, perhaps, you know, those quiet hours would be a little different. So you can customize the quiet hours uh, per property and you can set them up. Um, you can set up the, the noise um, on the decibel level system and the noise duration as well. So you have complete flexibility to set up each home as you wish. Great, um, so I don't know if we have any questions. Uh, Vince, I think we might have a couple of questions. I don't know if you wanna help me out with those. Uh, I think Vince was having some connection issue. That's okay, that's okay. Uh, yes, they can. Uh, yes, we, we we had just discussed. Yes, they can be customized. Um, and in fact, um, yeah, it's 
it's quite helpful as mentioned because you can you can adjust them so that they sound more like like you yeah exactly exactly Yes, it does. Um, and in fact, I wanted to mention um, in this presentation, we didn't go over too much of our outdoor sensor, uh, but let me go ahead and go back here. Um, so here, I think we had a picture of it. There, this guy. Okay. This is our new outdoor sensor. Uh, so this is quite important for the outdoor sensor as well as if you're using it indoors. Um, we do require a, a connection to Wi-Fi. So it's important that when you set it up outdoors, um, it's in a place that's going to connect to be able to connect to uh, your property's Wi-Fi. And for that reason, um, you know, people usually have it like what we're finding is, you know, in a porch area or maybe they've got a patio area, um, something that's very close to the home and still gets Wi-Fi coverage. But that isn't an area where they're thinking, you know, and a crowd might gather sorry, sorry. at yeah. their property. No, all good. Sorry, I, I had the mute button on. Um, yeah, question. So we have, can uh, Minus messages uh, to the guests be customized? I think you did mention that, but. Mm -hmm. Yes. For now, um, it is a yes. UK service only, um, and essentially we we partner um, with. Well, I, sh yeah. I should say. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, important to. I can tell uh, you the, the theoretical as, idea uh, about it. Um, um, so I work with a slightly different branch of, of um, partnerships um, that is more focused on association the, uh, advocacy. So does I the device need to be connected to Wi-Fi? Um, I can tell you that yes, it is. Uh, a feature that we have specifically in the UK, we're going to be testing it out to see, um, you know, what the response is to it uh, and how much demand there is to it. So um, I would say if there's anyone specifically interested in the Minute Response Partners, feel free to reach out and I can give you um, more details or at least put you in the right direction of the person that's in charge of, of that particular uh, partnership. Exactly, exactly, yeah. Um, and then I see a question here actually regarding the settings. So just because I've got it here on the slide, I thought I'd, we can go over it quickly again. Um, so someone's asking, how do I get into the settings to adjust and set the text message? Um, so here, here we go. When you're in the minute dashboard, after you connect um, and after you, mm -hmm. uh, you know, copy and paste that awesome. API key, um, there, um, I noticed on your website that you have um, response then partners. I don't know if you, you want to ready you know, to actually in, 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 um, at all, but a lot of our members are in the UK. And you would, would just think, click um, on uh, noise monitoring, so and then you can, can see. click um, on this part work? here where it says SMS message. So that's going to be where you can um, you can modify that particular text message. Hopefully that helps. But if it doesn't help, then then um, I'm happy to to reach out and and send you the, the um, instructions that we have on our, on our website as well for, for that help article. Gotcha. Great. Um, wonderful, I think that's pretty much it. Vince, have you gotten a chance to set up your, your Minute device with uplisting yet? Yeah, also, I think it's a, it sounds like a really an interesting, unique kind of service that, that you're offering there. So I think people will be oh, interested wow. in, um, in it. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's quite that's quite interesting because then, yeah, I'd imagine that you the the threshold level that you set for that particular property, that larger one, is going to be a little bit different than you know a, a smaller home, for example. Because sixteen, you know, yeah, like the amount of noise that people sixteen people have um, 
you know, just having breakfast is going to be much louder than a group of four people. Um, and then, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, of course. Um, and then I see another question regarding, um, you know, can I have the message come from my telephone because we don't want the guests knowing there's a minute in the house. So we always, you know, um, yeah, lean towards yeah. transparency. Um, so we have a, a, we have a situation a where we have a, so we have a large we guest house that we converted that you into short term rentals. In your um, property um, description, like that there is a noise monitoring um, device. We have like a, uh, one, because it lets people um, know. And then we have um, a, and a two, bed, because it's going um, to also detract kind of, uh, from anyone who's looking area, for a party area, property. Um, from when we went to both. Yeah, um, when so that's we went one of both, the, the things um, that they're going to look out for. Um, so, the, you know, if you're, if it's you put on there, the for example, that, isn't, you know, as you an know, example, you've got a ring camera or annoying, you've got a minute device, the apartment, um, they're going to um, know that kind of booking, you are going to yeah, be that's, aware. That's, that's the, the main use um, case for us, is just to make sure that all guests in our property So for that reason, we do always suggest that you're quite upfront with your guests. People find, you know, I feel like at this point, most people know what a minute sensor is. Um, it's most people are pretty familiar with it, and you can also, um, again, just we can provide you with the, the copy or yeah, let's say yeah, like the, yeah. the text to including your property description if you'd like. Um, that basically details its privacy safe. There's no camera. It's just in. in in short, yeah, and it's, it's also just the, the fact you prevent any sorry, so it's also just the fact of knowing parties, that there might be some and, noise going um, on, and then just you know, reaching out to the um, other guests and saying, We know there's a bit of noise, there's going nothing on, worse you know, than if you have any issues checking into a property over, and seeing um, allows us to be proactive, you know, when you've just checked in and thinking, like, why, why are they not friendly, you know, um, and perhaps it's because they've had a noise incident in the past, um, but we find in general when your neighbors know that you have a minute device it really puts them at ease because then they also know that you're going to be on top of your your rentals and you're going to make sure that um, nothing's going to get too out of hand so hopefully that helps um i would you know certainly encourage you to to reach out to us as mentioned um so our email here is sales at minute.com. Um, I can also provide my, my email address. We'll be reaching out to everyone who's registered um, to provide the recorded version of this webinar and also to, to get back to anyone who has any questions. Um, Vince, I don't know if, if there's anything else that you wanted to add or, or if you wanted to just mention your email in case anyone needs to, to reach out to Uplisting. Okay, great. Well, thank you everyone again for joining us today. Um, we so appreciate you taking the time to, to be here. And we'll, as mentioned, we'll be reaching out and sending the recorded version of this. Uh, and then, um, yeah, feel free to reach out if there's anything else that you need. Every Yeah, I mean, uplisting, I'll put it in the chat here just so you can access our website if you need to. And from there, you can, you know, get a free trial. You can reach out to our team, um, whatever you need. So all, all, all stems from the website.
Super. Thanks, Alondra. Take care. Bye. See you, folks.